Adobe After Effects CC includes tools that make it easy to work with 360 and VR footage. In this tutorial, I will show you how the immersive effects in Adobe After Effects, designed specifically for equirectangular footage, make it easy to stylize your 360 VR video without incurring any unwanted artifacts. Alright, so in my After Effects composition, I have some 360 video that's in the equirectangular format. And this is the format your 360 video is usually going to be in after it's been stitched together. And this is the format you're going to need if you're going to do any post on your 360 video in After Effects. And some telltale signs of echo rectangular footage you can see are these curves on the video you can see on the boat. And you can also see on the buildings here on the horizon line. I also want to note that whatever's in the very center of your echo rectangular footage, that's going to be where you're facing forward if you're viewing this in a 360 headset. And you can see the front of the boat here. And then what's over here on the back side, this is going to be the back area. So you can see the back of the boat and we have this building here with red bricks, which will also note that that's the same red building over here. So this would be the back seam of our 360 footage. Around the horizon line is the least amount of distortion that's visible on our video. But as you get closer to the top and bottom poles, there's going to be more noticeable distortion because of the curvature. It's important to note that most traditional effects in After Effects are not compatible with 360 footage. And just to demonstrate that, I'm going to apply a Gaussian blur to this footage. I'm going to select the blur and just apply it. And I'm going to come over here and increase the blurriness. And I'm also going to turn on repeat edge pixels. And the reason this isn't compatible is because over here on this back seam line, After Effects with these traditional effects does not know that these two areas are going to be connected. So if we look at this from a first person POV, we can look at the back area here and you're going to see a noticeable seam line that's giving us some artifacts. And again, this is a result of using an effect that's not created specifically for VR. However, After Effects does have some VR immersive effects that are created specifically for VR footage. So I'm going to come over here to the Effects and Presets panel and a quick way to toggle all those is just to type in VR. And you're going to see a full list of the immersive video effects. And all of these are compatible with equal rectangular footage. So let me go ahead and apply the VR blur effect to our 360 video. And I'm going to come over here and increase the blurriness again. And now if we look at this in a POV view, if we look at the back area of the seam, we're not getting any artifacts or a visible seam line. And that's the difference between a traditional effect and a VR effect. It's also important to note that traditional glows or the sharpen effect would also create that same seam line error, as you can see again here from the POV. But Adobe's also created specific VR versions of those effects that will work on 360 video with the VR sharpen and the VR glow effect. I'll demonstrate the VR glow effect very quickly here. And I'm just going to type in a few configured values. And now if we look at this in a POV view, we get a nice glow effect on our footage again with no artifacts on the back seam or at the top and bottom pole areas. There are also some unique stylized 360 VR effects such as the digital glitch and the chromatic aberration. Let me go ahead and apply digital glitch to my 360 footage. And you can see we get this glitching effect all over our video, but you'll notice that the glitching is kind of curved, again accenting the equirectangular format of this footage, so that this is going to look correct when it's viewed back in a VR headset. Uh, this effect also has quite a few different options under the distortion and the noise. And we can even control the distortion evolution. I can toggle that and the color evolution. As you can see, it's kind of going back and forth there. And we also have control of the master amplitude, which is very cool. We can see this go back to the normal view. Let's take a look at the VR chromatic aberration effect. And you can see we're getting some chromatic aberration on our 360 footage, much like you would see on traditional footage. However, in 360, it's a little bit more complicated because everything is visible and there has to be an area where the chromatic aberration is at its most and where it's at its end. And we have control of those options over here with the fall off distance. You can control how much of your video is being affected by the chromatic aberrations and how much separation is on your red, green, and blue channels. And as you can see in this POV view, we can get some very unique looks using the chromatic aberration effect. Finally, I want to show you the VR fractal noise effect. I'm just going to drag and drop that on my 360 footage. And this is very similar to the fractal noise effect you're used to in After Effects. But again, this effect has been formatted to work with 360 footage, so it is seamless. This opens the door to creating lots of customized 360 effects like smoke, fire, water, and fog. And you can see we have lots of different fractal types from basic to turbulent sharp to the max fractal type and finally to the strings fractal type. 
I'm gonna go ahead and set this back to basic. We're gonna create a little bit of subtle fog on this Venice footage. It kinda looks like fog rising from the canal here in the early morning. So down here on the blending mode, I'm gonna set this to be a screen blending mode. And I'm gonna lower the opacity of the overall effect. And then I'm just gonna set a keyframe for the evolution. And I'll move down here in time. And I'll go ahead and set another keyframe here with the evolution rotating it. And now we can go ahead and see what this looks like from a POV perspective. As you can see, we get a nice subtle fog effect here animating, which again looks like fog rising up from the canal. So that's an overview of the immersive effects that are available in Adobe After Effects.